If you want to provide extra support for Thunder Buddy 01 Productions, become an official Thunder Buddy superfan. For just $2.99 a month, you will get access to exclusive emojis, get a cool badge next to your name, and other cool perks such as shoutouts and priority replies to your comments. Join now with the link in the top of the description. Deluxe WR300. That's 120 went off. The other 120s obviously went off as well. 
301, the version one 300, both 400s back here. Let's see, both version fives went off. The version three, the version four, and the late version two. Nice. Unfortunately, neither of the V1s or the V2 black and silver went off, which kind of sucks. Uh, I finally got the end deck back up and running. Uh, looks like I got, judging by this at least, um, I don't know what the heck happened there, but basically this got a WXJ 42s test. Uh, there's that. Now in my room, two four seven went off. Uh, both alert works went off. The two five three, the FR six hundred, the Vector four thirty eight, the uh, Accurite, the freaking nine nine one. Most of the Etons went off for 1050, ex oddly enough, except for the Solar Link over there, which was on KW35 for this setup. Uh, J went activated for 1050 only. Unfortunately, the WR11 did not go off. The 1650D, this I just had turned off. I literally have no motivation to use it. This thing ghost activated while I was asleep. Because I legit woke up to see the warning light on this. I don't know. And... I don't know what it is, but some radios just like randomly activate during the night, and it obviously bothered me a bit. Uh, the 249, uh, FR800, this was giving me reception issues on WXJ42, so I put it on WX780. The running sales, you know the deal with those. Uh, the Emerson Research went off. I'll go ahead and fix the time on this as well. Uh, Sanjian's, uh, not surprisingly, it didn't go off, because uh, WWH33 reception is kind of ass on this radio for some reason. Like, I literally have to try... Who the... Someone just did a weekly. And I got you on camera. That was WBLI that did a weekly. Nice. So, look at that, you just got, you just got yourselves a free weekly from, from uh, WBLI, nice. Uh, anyways, R500 went off, 996, Motorola, SFA1150, of course Sanjian be, being the dumb dumb that it is did not get WWH33. Uh, over here, uh, both 261s. Both uh, 74210 and the WR30 went off, but six hour events, so whatever. Uh, both 519s, the 255, the WRB603. Unfortunately, the 382 didn't go off. The Max Digital went off. The WX268, uh, uh, Sharecom, uh, 67. Okay, why did some of my radios just reset? Like, what? Like, no. I know this guy didn't go off because for some freaking reason the power reset to it. And my black alert works had the same thing happen to it. Uh, the WX80 went off, the 260, <clears throat> the, 52, the 262 and the 521. Uh, the zone guards, like I said, activated for 1050 only. Unfortunately, the 250C didn't go off, but whatever. Um, Solar Link went off. 
as I mentioned before. Uh, the Honeywell activated on the third header. Seconds at New York Harbor. I just like stopped paying attention to this, but the 8500, the 258, WX150, R1650A. Now over here, let's see. Uh, both both two five nines activated properly. The five two two failed, and the nine nine three. Temperature Not surprisingly, uh, decoded it as a six hour event. Uh. That's the HDR 14's cord. Where is the 993's cord leading to? Oh, it's right here. Alright, so I did see some Trobo over the area. I'm gonna try to see if I can get any other weeklies, but I can't promise anything. WNG575's test from Grey Main. I'm gonna see if I can get Mount Holly's test next. Let's go!